Hi right, guys, Mel, Carl CTB UK. Uh, just a quick update really, just to let you know where we're at and um, running through the projects that we're going to be working on over the next uh, few weeks and then ongoing. Uh, we've just come to the end, or we are coming to the end, of the cheap and easy uh, hexacopter build. Um, this works out really, really well. Um, for around £200, we managed to put a hexa in the air um, that has performed really, really well, touch wood. It hasn't let us down once. Uh, we managed to get the landing gear, the frame, all the ProFlight ESCs and the uh, Turnergy motors. Uh, it, was, it may have been a fraction over £200. And this really has been fantastic. Um, so, if you want to see the, uh, the Hexa playlist, I'll put a link in the description box for that. Um, and maybe I'll pop a video up here uh, to the beginning of the series if you're interested in going and seeing our, our cheap hexacopter build. It was kind of a concept project uh, to see if it works. Now, it doesn't fly uh, like something running the Wukong or the new Vector, the Eagle Tree Vector, which we're getting to the channel. But it does fly really, really well for the money. Um, the Backbones project is going really, really well. This is Lisa's FPV Backbones with the Easy UHF uh, system on there, and we're running the Immersion RC 5.8 gigahertz um, system. Um, we're getting some really good distance. Um, the ProFlight motors on this are absolutely bulletproof. So far, touching wood again. Um, we've got the ProFlight ESCs and motors on that. That is absolutely ballistic on a four cell. Uh, they come down lovely and cold. Uh, so we're really enjoying that. This is running PPM on the KK board um through the easy uhf system so we've got long range capabilities on this we're going to be doing some work with the battery configurations and so on to squeeze the best out of this you will be seeing quite a lot of the backbones up on the channel over here to my left is uh my fortis titan um which still needs some motors um, the motors are going to get ordered, I'm going to sell off a couple of the bits, the hex is going to be sold, that will be going up on eBay probably um, to fund our next projects. As soon as I've got the money for the Sunny Sky motors that I'm going to be running on the Titan, um, the Titan will be getting finished. I'm really looking forward to this, one of those that I was tempted to ju just get some stuff and throw it on there. but. Um, from what I've seen of the other guys from C Fokker RC that are now over with us at RC TV UK that have got these, this is a really, really top notch frame, and I wanted to do it justice by putting uh, the Sunny Sky motors on there and the Pro Flight ESC. So, as soon as the bits are ordered from that, you will see um, some some footage, a bit more sort of flying footage, and uh, uh, my full review of the Fortis Titan tricopter. Um, Alan and Tony have both got these and they're absolutely over the moon with them so I am actually really looking forward to uh, to uh, to getting mine finished and getting it in the air. Uh, so what is this on the desk in front of me? Um, for those of you that don't know, don't recognise this, I'm sure most of you do, this is the Anycopter quad um, uh, that, uh, which is what I am I'm building at the moment. Um, I will be doing a full builder's review of this. I've got four ProFlight ESCs, 30 amp. I'm going to be running, because it's all I've got, I'm going to be running the Turnergy 1000 kV aero drives. Um, these are really cheap. They're nowhere near as good as the ProFlight uh, motors, which are almost identical looking. Uh, but the Pro Flights have got a much better bearing in and they just run smoother, quieter, they have more power. Um, so I might do a comparison test of those just to show you the difference between the two. But that's what I'm going to be using because it's what I have um, on here. I'm going to be running the KK board 
on this because it's nice and simple with a power distribution board in the centre. Um, is there anything else I need to tell? I think that's about it. Maybe I should do myself some bullet points for this kind of future in a uh, video in the future. But um, there it is really. Ah, oh, right. There's a Spectrum DX6i uh, over here that's in bits. I wonder whether any of you can guess why my 2.4 gigahertz radio systems in bits with the area of it like that if you can leave us your comment your suggestion for why my radio could be in bits like that in the description box that's something that you're going to be able to see in an up and coming video so that just about wraps us up for this update if you've got any questions about any of the kit we're using uh, please contact us we'd be happy to answer any questions you've got we don't know everything a lot of this stuff is new to us we're not going to try to pull the wool over your eyes um, but we've got some really really good people at our disposal that we can ask questions so if there's a question that you feel you'd like an answer to and just put it in the description or put it in the, the question section below this video I'm Matt Barnard for RCTV UK signing off Bye for now.